Man, I do love that song. Welcome, everybody, to the Renatus Jam. My name is Jay Stark, and joining me, joining me as always, is my fearless co-host, Mr. Matt Snyder. Mr. Matt Snyder. Mr. Snyder, how you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. That's right, dude. What's the count now? What's uh, the count? Too, too close. Too not t- too close. Too close for the readiness that I am feeling. <laughs> Oh, that. you know what? That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Too close for the readiness that I'm feeling. Yeah. I'm going to use that I'm one. I'm having a, you know, like I've got, uh, I got some work to do. <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Just in case any of you are joining us and are unaware. We're talking about nationals. We're talking about the national yeah. conference. Before, before we really hop in all things national, first, I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Adam Cloud. Who who bequeathed upon us this day a special mythical guest of honor? That's right. <laughs> and so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you at home can see, but we have with us Grindel, the the dino corn. The, the it's a dragon. The, it's a dragon. Right right up here. I hope you guys can enjoy this just like we we are enjoying. This is Grindel. The yes. Dragon. Yes. Grin- Grindel. Grin- Grindel. Grindel. I think so. I. Grindel. I forgot the name. I, I think that's too. it. But uh, Adam. Adam better be on here, and he better correct us. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's our largest so, supporter. Our, our no, biggest fan. He is one of our tens one, of fans. One of our biggest fans. <laughs> one of our biggest fans. There we go. Yes. All right. So uh, as we get started today, I want to take a second and I, I just, I, I got to put this out here. This is something that's kind of been eating at me just a little bit. Yeah. Are you ready for this? This I'm is going to be a little Let's ironic because I understand that we are broadcasting currently on social media and social media is what is making you know, a lot of things possible in the world. Uh And, and I feel like I should encourage people to maybe be a little less invested in social media and maybe a little more invested in their neighbors. Yeah. I think the world would be a better place. I think that, uh, social media is a tool. Yes. Right. And for better, for worse, for better or for worse. And so it can be used for good, but but those algorithms and those programmers oh, yeah. know they how know. to, man. Yes, they do. They know what's up because you get on there for one little thing and and then 10 minutes later, <laughs> like you realize like you're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. It's like, what am I doing? What am why, I doing here? Why am I still on this? Yeah, exactly. So, so one of the things, one of the reasons why this thought has been on top of mind for me is there is – There is always this outrage. There always seems to be some sort of outrage happening on social media about something, right? Yeah. Uh, All over the map. And yet, when I talk to people that don't agree with me necessarily, or have different opinions, different beliefs, different backgrounds, we can get along just fine. Mm -hmm. They're not outraged because we disagree. Yeah. And so, that's that's just kind of where I'm coming from. I, I want us all to just... Get along. Can't we all just get along? I would love that, man. I would love it if we could have conversations on social media without berating the other person like right. they're an absolute idiot. Well, and that's you know that's kind of the point, right? Yeah. We can disagree and be friends. And still get along. We should we should be able and, to be friends. And be respectful of one another. And say, Hey, I still value you and I value your opinion even though we disagree on this thing whatever it is yeah and it might just be one thing or what right i don't know i mean i uh i disagree with so i found that if i talk especially politically with friends and family if i talk to somebody long enough i start to find that where we disagree like right. it could sound if for the first couple of minutes it's like oh yeah we agree and then you get farther in front oh wait we we, we really don't and, uh, you know, there's always something or something. And so literally there's not another person I found that agrees with everything I think or whatever. No, and that's okay. But that, that's what that's makes this fine. wonderful country of ours. Flavorful. It's what makes them wrong, but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the deal. And I'll, I promise I'll get off this high horse here in just a second. Uh, I, I think that we have, um, most of us want the same things. 
I would agree. We just go about it a little bit of a different way. Yeah. And that doesn't make it wrong. For example, I lived in Germany for a couple of years. Yeah. And there, they do things differently than we do things here in the United States. Right. It's not wrong. It's different. Yeah. And I grew to appreciate and love those differences because I lived with Germans for two years. Yeah. You know, yeah. I spent that time there. And I think that if we just spent a little more time getting to know, love, and appreciate one another, right. that we would actually appreciate the differences in our opinions and we would be able to find that common ground where we go, you know, we agree on what what we want to accomplish, even if we want to accomplish it different ways. You know what gets me? Like, I think it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing, but I oftentimes understand where that person is coming. So in other words, if they, if they, uh, you know, think socialism is a good thing, cause I'm going to come out of the closet and say, uh, it's bad. So I think, uh, anybody who's an entrepreneur or a business owner or here is probably of that opinion. I don't think it's a good thing, but I can understand where somebody who comes from somewhere that, you know, they, they, they grew up with, they needed government assistance. They needed certain things in their lives, and and it was provided in a way that socialism looks like a great thing to them. Right. And so I can understand that. As a matter of fact, one of my really good friends, bona fide socialist. We love each other. And and you know the uh, the idea is that even though you under you think that socialism is not the best option, it doesn't mean that anybody who who believes in socialism is a bad person no absolutely not and, and honestly what you're trying to do and what they're trying to do align i'm trying to take care of my family they're trying to I'm make trying to the have, world a better place exactly. take care of their family exactly, exactly that, and i'm trying to do the same thing yeah one one so. thing that really helped me uh in my life back in the day i read the book uh strengths finders 2.0 i think is what it was called strength strengths finder 2.0 yeah. And basically it's, it's kind of one of those, uh, not a personality assessment, but kind of, but not really, but kind of, yeah. but the idea is that it tries to help find, um, where it is that you have your strengths, yeah. whether it's a social competence, whether it's a technical competence or whatever it is, you go through and you identify your different strengths. The one thing that this book helped me to identify was not, not necessarily my strengths, but it was the concept that I should lean into my strengths. Yeah. For so long I'd been taught, oh, well, you need you have a weakness, you need to overcome that weakness. And what this book really focused on was was lean into your strengths. Yeah. And it will help to compensate and overcome your weaknesses. Right. I, I think that's I think that's a great concept. Like that's you know, think about all the successful people in today's day and age. Right. They did something they were great at. It's you know, um Elon Musk probably didn't suck at making electric cars or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like he figured that he, he's probably leaned into his strengths in other words, or, right. Or I, I know, don't think his strengths are actually making cars. His, his strength I think is making businesses. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And yeah. making waves. He's yeah. really good at getting attention. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Yes. He makes me laugh all the time, but <laughs> I just, I just think the reason why that came up was that uh, if we as a society were to lean into our strengths together, especially here in the United States of America, if we leaned into what bonds us together, what unifies us, I think we would find we have way more in common with the people around us than what social media would depict. Wholeheartedly. And if you're going to have that conversation, don't have it on social media. The, again, like friends of mine that, that don't agree with me, but we talk about it a lot. Man. Yeah it's a conversation face to face and we respect and love each other. And when, and it's not, uh, you know, bullet point punching, right. If you will, or whatever, you know, it's just, it's a real drawn out long nuanced conversation that yeah. I think is good to have. And I want to understand people like how they think they, why they think the way they think. Like I want right. to, I want to get in there and like really right. understand what's, what that is. And, and, and when you find somebody who's willing to invest that time, you'll, you'll realize, Oh, they're passionate about this. And even though we may not agree on, on how they're trying to accomplish it, I agree on what they're trying to do and I can appreciate their sincerity. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I, uh, 
yeah, I just think that we we as Americans in particular need to lean into our strengths. I agree. We need to find those things that bond us together, that unify us as Americans, and let's build on those. Unfortunately, all too often the thing that unifies us is an enemy outside of us. Uh, you know, 9, you know, 9-11 was the most unifying event of my entire lifetime. I remember what that was like in this country for the six months to a year after that event. Yep. The There was no nothing but Americans. Like There was no rich, poor, Democrat, Republican. There was none of that, man. It was, we're all Americans. And, and I loved it. It was such a a wonderful unity. It just, it's terrible that it took such a tragic event to bring everybody together. Yeah. I Hopefully, agree. you know, we can come together without something like that. You know, but, I try to tell my kids all the time, you want to be prepared before the test. Yeah. You don't want to have to be prepared after the test. Cause it's a lot of times we have these, these tests in our life and that's what causes us to get to where we need to be. Right. But if we could get there before the test, that'd make the test so much easier. Yeah, it does. Anyway, it does. <laughs> I, I do want to recognize that we have Mr. Hiller on the line with us as well as Richard Stock, who's dropping in some comments. Is he, Richard, are you the one calling me in my pocket? He was joking uh, that, that he was going to be. That surprise me. I, I, this better be. It is. It totally is. <laughs> Dude, what a dirt. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> That is hilarious. Don't. Blocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, oh man. He just wants to be on the podcast so <laughs> bad that he's like, I'm just going to say, and Jay. I, well, see, Jay's ignoring. I don't even have I my was phone given, with me. I was giving Richard a hard time earlier. And <laughs> and, and so he's like, I'm going to call you when you're on the podcast to give you the update oh, for the thing that you need. And that's funny. Anyways. Yeah. Did you write that email, Richard? I'm just going to put that one out. I'm going to call you out. <laughs> I still have not seen it. Yeah. That doesn't mean you didn't write it and didn't send it. Yeah, because you don't have your phone, yet. right? So, exactly. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, here's what we're going to do well, today. Well, I bet you get email on that thing. I, I do get email on this thing. I just don't open it up. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Alvin Lamb's on here with us now, too. Awesome. Our favorite maniac. Love Alvin. All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to take I want to take this podcast today okay. and, uh, and really delve into the national conference. Yeah. Now here's what I'm going to ask for, for all of our tens of fans online with us, do me a favor and go ahead and share this podcast with anybody who's coming to the national conference, because we're going to make a couple of updates. We're going to share a few things that people need to be aware of as they attend the national. Now I'm going to send an email too, but here's what I've noticed. Not everybody reads my emails. What? Right? It doesn't sound like it, masses of people. It gets me. <laughs> Every right time. Right here. <laughs> they, don't, they, just, they don't read. Weren't you just talking about how you haven't read Richard's email? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. assuming that he sent the email. <laughs> so, you well, know. He was giving me a call to update us. He better right. have. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. So, all right. Here's the deal. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. What time can somebody check in at the National Conference? Uh, it would be check in. You mean like get their name badge? Yeah, I mean get the name badge, get all the That's swag. That's going to be the night before. So Wednesday. The night before. At, I would imagine, five, six, seven, something like that. I don't know. Let's go ahead and say... At 6 p.m. 6 p.m. There we go. If you go to the Davis Conference Center, yeah, the room where we're hosting the national conference, right? And trust me, if you ask anybody there at the hotel or anybody in the conference center, they're gonna know what you're talking it's about. It's on the east end. I mean, of the it's building. It's on of the, the north whole. end of the well, building. Well, it's the it's the northeast end. So of the. Yeah, the, I'm talking the east side. If you park on the east side, don't park on the oh, other side. yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. If you park on the east side, which for anybody who's either out of town or not from the area, the east side is the side closest to the mountains. Yep. Now, I know what you're going to say because I moved here from Ohio and everybody said that to me. And I looked around and I go, I can literally see a mountain There's in every direction. Every, <laughs> I don't yeah. understand what you're talking about. The close about. one. The mountain that is closest. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Veronica Cuevas is like, don't worry, Jay. I read all of your emails. <laughs> We're going to hold you to it, Veronica. <laughs> right? Veronica, you better you better know this information. <laughs> all right. So here's the deal. We we are uh, 
We are getting started Wednesday evening. This is March 30th. Okay. At 6 p.m., we're going to open check-in. Okay. So that everybody can come check in, get their T-shirt, get their name badge, get their their journal, Perfect. all that fun stuff. What time does that close? We're probably going to close it right around 9 p.m. Because so I need I need my people to be fresh and chipper yeah, the next say, day. I was going to say, do not be that guy or person that that shows up at 8.58 or whatever and is like, oh, and yes. by the way, and I need this. And, yes. You know, I mean, we, we'll, we'll take care of you. But we will. I'm just saying. We will. But And we're asking people every to get time, there. Every time we do this, there's, there's always that, like, somehow – registration kind of drags into the night and yeah we got it like the national for all of us is 16 plus hour days oftentimes oh yeah for starting before the national right oh, so yeah. that's wednesday you know, before the national will probably be a 16 hour day that's a good so, point we've had know. a couple of people ask if they can come and tour the building uh, before the national conference. Oh yeah, and here while, you mean here? I mean yeah, here, yeah. this building, Renatus HQ. And I would love to accommodate everyone. I really would. And we may or may not actually be in the building at the time because we're going to be running around like crazy, yeah. trying to get everything finalized for the event. Yep. So if I haven't gotten back to you, I had one or two people reach out to me and ask me if they could come and tour the building. I apologize. And the reason why I haven't responded is because I don't know exactly when we're going to be here. And right. I don't want to turn you away. I don't want to say, no, don't come. No, because we, we love having people here. We Absolutely. love showing people the building and showing people HQ. But, uh, yeah, day the, with the preceding days before Nationals and yep. then uh, we're not even going to be here. You know, the, the right. few days after National, we take a couple of days off. And right. So, yeah, so, yeah just just – if you want to come and tour the building, I appreciate that. You're welcome to come. And if somebody is not here at the time that you come, I apologize. You're welcome to walk around the building, take a look. I'll leave a key under the rock for you out front. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so for anybody who's coming in beforehand, we'll, we will try to be here and accommodate you. And please forgive us if we're not. Yes. Ditto. All right. So the registration Wednesday evening at, or the check-in at 6 p.m., Yep. In the lobby right in front of the room where we're hosting the national. On the northeast the north end east of end. the building. Now, the good news is that you don't have to know directions very well at all, uh, especially if you're not from Utah, to find the Freedom Wagon. Pretty easy to see. If <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you find the Freedom Wagon, you found the national conference. Yeah. If you look around and you don't see the Freedom Wagon, odds are... You're not in the right place. <laughs> yes, for, it'll be out front of the building. But yes, yeah, yeah. it will. It'll be on the east side of the building on again. On the east side of the building. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, that's where the national conference will be. But Utah's easy to navigate. I mean, I've it been, is I've been to some easy. other, I, like Minnesota. I was driving around, you know, the Twin Cities, greater, you know, area yeah. of the Twin Cities. And oh my gosh, it is nuts. It's like if I didn't have GPS. Yep. I'd never find the airport. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Here in, in Utah, we like, really like to give our streets numbers, not names. Yeah. Right? And so when you go to use GPS for the first time, it'll say things like, turn left on West 2000 South. And you'll be like, what? <laughs> yeah. And it'll say it again. Turn left on West 2000 South. Ignore the first uh, direction. Ignore the west. It'll say turn left on 2000 south. That's what you need to turn on. Okay. So if you have your GPS cranked up and it says two directions in one sentence, meaning like turn west or turn left on west 2000 south, ignore the first direction. It's a Utah thing. I could tell you all about what it exactly means. That's funny. I didn't even know that. It I mean, does. I just follow the line. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, it turned left. All right. Right. Work. But, just, you just know. ignore the first direction in the title of the street. Because we really like those numbers. We until do. Until okay. we don't. 
like so North Temple. It's like Second South, Third South, or whatever. But you, then you got like North Temple and South Temple, and and you got like uh, yeah. I mean, there's just all oh we got California Avenue. Like it's it's yep. like wait a minute, like yep. we were doing the number thing, and then and then all of a sudden we just follow deviated. The blue line. Yeah, it, it, follow the blue line. That's oh, right. That's funny. So here's here's the deal. Uh, the west, east, north, south, the first one inside of the street name actually has to do with the city center that you're in. Oh, okay. And so whatever See, direction whatever direction you are from city center, that's what that first leading direction is. No way. So when you say west 2000 south, that means you're on 2000 south west of the city center. I had no idea. So don't don't worry about it. It doesn't even matter. But at matter. this point just I don't ignore it. need GPS to go anywhere. I right. just know where stuff is. Right. So I just But go. for any of our out of towners, just realize that's that's what that means. Yeah. Okay. So on Wednesday, registration opens up at 6 p.m. We'll be going until 9 p.m. You can come and get all of your stuff. Now this is where I make the next caveat the next important thing for everybody to remember and that is carry your badge with you at all times that's right please yes yeah please please yeah. pretty please yeah because and don't lose it <laughs> i mean don't it always happens it. but especially you know don't leave it in the room because uh you know there will be people monitoring yes. the doors and stuff and and you know you got to have yes. a badge to get in and yep. just don't just hang on to it just please hang on to it keep it with you at all yeah. times it'll be your little lifeline and it's only for 3 days you just i need you to hang on to it because we have in we always have challenges where people forget their badges somewhere and yeah. then we'll have that one kid who's trying to sneak in or bring his significant other in who doesn't have a a ticket or something and we want to make sure we honor those people that are making the sacrifice to be there that got their tickets we want to make sure that they're taken care of so yep. so please 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 bring your ticket alvin asks what are we having for dinner we'll get there in just a second mr lamb yeah <laughs> i what are we okay i'll let you we'll get there because let's do this uh, we did the taste test it was all fantastic by the fantastic. way alvin it was all great it was all good yeah so here's here's the deal at Eight, actually, probably at 7.30. Let's say 7.30. Okay. On Thursday, March 31st, at 7.30 a.m., we will open the check-in once again. Okay? So you can come down. You can get your badge. If you weren't able to come in Wednesday evening, I get it. Uh, you can come get your badge, get your T-shirt, whatever. Yep. We will open the doors at 8.30. Okay. So you can go sit down and get so settled. You can go sit, exactly. Yeah. At 9 a.m. sharp. Not not nine oh one. Oh, it's sharp. It is. Sharp, it is sharp. right on the money. Nine. We have so much to share that, and we will not start five minutes late. Yeah. At nine o'clock sharp, we will. We'll probably start the countdown, and then it's on from there. Yeah. We will start the national conference. We will have breaks throughout the day. Yep. So typically we'll have a break mid morning somewhere between 10 and 1030. And then we'll have a lunch break in the middle of the day. We usually have, I think we have an hour and a half scheduled on Thursday for a lunch break. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have an afternoon break somewhere around three, three 30. And then we'll end Thursday at 6 PM. Now, a lot of people have said, well, what are we doing after that? That we are leaving wide open for teams to go and do as they please. Now, one one concern that we've had in years past is people say, well, I've got team coming in from all across the country, but I don't really have any time to be with my team. Mm -hmm. So that's what Thursday night is. It's team time. Go out there, take your team out to dinner, get together wherever you want, and and spend time together as your individual teams. It's team time. That's Team what time. Thursday night is. Yep. Now, we will leave the screens on for a little while. So if you wanted to take a picture up on the screens, you're you're happy or you're welcome to do that. Um, we will also have uh, a few people kind of hanging around for a little bit, and it will not be all night long. I. I I'm guessing we'll shut the doors by 6.30 p.m. So you're welcome to hang around a little bit if you want to. However, we're going to shut the doors because, again, we need the team fresh for Friday. Yeah, Friday's a long one. All right, so let's talk Friday. What time are we getting started? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. So we'll have the check-in open on 
uh, Friday morning as well. Mm -hmm. This time it's going to be a little bit later. We still have some people that are coming in a day late. Yeah. I understand. Happens. Things happen. Yeah. So if they come in a day late, we'll have check-in still. So we'll probably open the check-in right around 8 Mm a.m. We'll open the doors again at 8.30. At 9 a.m., we're going to get started. Mm -hmm. We'll have a couple of breaks throughout the... Or, no, wait. Don't let me lie. I won't let you lie. Okay. On Friday, it's a little bit different. Okay. We've got two breaks scheduled on Friday. We're going to go from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Okay. And we've got two breaks in there. One or two. Man, now I feel like I'm lying. I think there's two breaks. I wish I could tell you. I don't know. I think there are. There's two breaks. I know there are. Yeah. So there's two breaks, but there's no lunch break. On Friday. Yes. On Friday. Yes. You know what? I am remembering now. Yes. That's right. There's no we lunch end, break. We end at two. We do. And and when I say we end at two, what I mean is at two o'clock, we are clearing everybody out of the room. We're going to go around to the to the front entrance of the building, which is like 100 yards away. It's not It's not far. Not far. And then we're going to take a big group picture. Yep. Every year we take this big group picture. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. It always takes us way longer than we think it will because, you know, entrepreneurs. But (laughs) herding cats. Herding cats. Yeah. But uh, we will get everybody out there um, to take a big group picture. After the picture, between two and five. That's your opportunity to go make a friend, walk a dog, all that fun stuff. But be back at 5 p.m. sharp. Okay? Yeah. Now, 5 p.m. is when uh, the real heart of the conference begins. That's right. That's dinner, first of all. It is dinner. Then award ceremony. Yes. The most amazing award ceremony you've ever been to. The most unbelievable award ceremony ever. That's right. Yes. We we do it up. <laughs> we do up a, a heck of an awards awards banquet. Yeah, so, buddy. Yeah, it's worth worth being there. It's amazing. It's just yeah, I words do not describe. You'll see. You'll just You will see. And and to answer Mr. Lamb's question from earlier, uh the we're doing a buffet style. We have found that actually going buffet style is quicker to get everybody through yeah, dinner and, and much quicker and people tend to be able to eat more because there's there's it's more there just, to choose from it's better all around it is. i like it's it just, because yeah i get to dish up yep. what i want and i don't have to wait I've, i mean there's been times i waited like an hour and a half to get my food yeah like, we okay. so we're doing a buffet again and this one i'm trying to do you remember what the name of the buffet this is basically a utah the uh, name, uh, like yeah, the, it's of called who, like the who cooks it or what? no, 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 what are you talking about? no, no, no. The every there were like themes to the different food selections that we could pick from. Oh, I don't remember. And so remember. we we decided we're going to go with a this is I think it's called the Davis Conference Special or something like that. It is basically a, a collection of just just you know Sunday afternoon kind of food. Right, we're gonna have chicken. We'll have pot roast. We'll have vegetables. We'll have salad. Yeah, we'll have yeah, yeah. bread. Okay. We'll have all that fun stuff. There will be if you are have any special dietary needs, and I don't mean like oh well, I would really prefer. I mean like dietary needs. Then you need to make sure that like you, you die let us if know you eat a nut. that yeah. kind of thing. You yeah. need to you need to make sure that we know about that ahead of time. Meaning that at when you pick up your stuff, just say hey guys. Uh, I just need to be sure that there's this option for me. So there will be, there will be a couple of vegan plates, and by a couple, I mean I think we've got ten tops. Yeah. And then a couple of plates for people that are uh, celiacs or have gluten intolerance. Yeah. Um. So we'll have those options available as well. Um. If there's something that I'm forgetting about or not being sensitive to, I don't, I don't mean to. So just let me know, and we'll, we'll do what we can for you. Yeah. Um. If obviously for those people that have severe allergies or have severe, um, intolerances, most of them know how to take care of themselves. Yep. Yep. And, and I say this as being, being married to one who has uh, a severe intolerance. Me who, too. who, and she basically she goes, Jay, we can go anywhere. I know how to eat, and yeah. it's like okay. Yep. So uh, anyway, I, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but if you have a if you have an intolerance, if you have a need, let well, us it's know. Not, yeah, it's not insensitive. It's just we're trying to plan. You can't think of everything. And right. We're trying to plan right. this whole thing out, and so yeah, we, yeah, we'll do what we can to accommodate. 
Yep. So. We absolutely will. So that's yeah. what's going to be for dinner. And then we are going to go ahead and get started with the awards banquet. And this is when your hands will get tired from clapping. Your eyes will get dry from all the crying and your throat will hurt from all the laughing in such the right way. You know? Oh, yeah. It's just yep. it's amazing. And it really is fun. And it's just there's there's tears of laughter, tears of joy and and just all the feels. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have asked me, Jay, what time are we going to be done? And uh, that's kind of the magic question. I don't know. When we get done. (laughs) When we get done. That's what happens every time. When we get done. I mean, we moved moved it all the way back to 5 p.m. in the attempt to get done earlier. And the banquet, or the the buffet. I mean, we switched to the buffet. Yeah, getting to the buffet so we can get through things quicker. Yeah. And we still go pretty late. We do. So it will be a long night. Prepare yourselves and realize... It's it is so worth every minute, and you you don't want to miss you don't want to miss a minute of it. You want to because the the end is when anyway. It's awesome. It's yeah, awesome. yeah, it awesome. is. Yep. All right. Uh, uh, on Saturday, ten so a.m. We are getting started at ten a.m. I like that. Yes. a lot. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, our team is going to need a little bit of, or not just the team, but everybody. All people who are there. Appreciates just getting one more hour of sleep yeah. on Saturday morning. So we get started at 10 and then we're going to, we're going to go pretty good at a pretty good clip until 6 PM. So we've got, we do have a lunch break scheduled uh, at like noon or noon 30, something like that. And so we will have the lunch break and then we're going to go straight through the end. And this is, uh, it's going to be awesome. We've got, we've got, man, we've got Bob Snyder who is going to be presenting the most in-depth training that he's ever given. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. And, and he has, he has the time on the national stage that he needs for this training. Yeah. It's going to be Which unreal. Which he's never really had before. Never. Yeah. And especially never like this. And he's actually, he's sequestered himself right now at his home up in Bear Lake so that he can he can be free of all distractions and so that he can come up with the purest and the best training possible for all ICMs. Yeah. It's going to be incredible. There will be... Offers made that will be available nowhere else. There will be in, not incentives. Uh, how do I say that better? There will be incentives to be there, but there will be, you just don't want to miss it. Yeah. There will be announcements. There will be forecasting. There will be things that become available to you because of the national. You know, anyway, I'm just, I could tell you guys all about it. And you would really you don't want to miss it just you know what don't miss it. uh i'm i'm looking forward to it i th- I think i've said it before but like we we had the mega tour here and stuff and it got me really excited to have events in person again i got that that energy that that vibe that yep. hanging out with everybody again it's just so much fun to you know all training and everything else aside i mean this is wonderful for relators and validators and people that want to you know be with other people and see other people and but the the energy of the national there's just nothing like it it's so you just vibrate and it and it's so exciting and fun to be a part of for so many reasons right like and people come away from the national and i see this every single year they come away with the national with this that vibrance that energy for their business and they crush it and i you know i see people that uh, you know, they'll, their business skyrockets because of the things that they learn and then do. And it's almost like this un, untangible, intangible uh, quality or something that they walk away with, just a renewed confidence maybe. Oh, yeah. Is what it is. I don't know. It's, An excitement. It's cool. Yeah, this excitement. And, and and an additional belief. One of my One of my favorite parts about the National is watching the belief grow in somebody. Yeah. As they feel like, oh yeah, I can I do feel this. Like, I feel like if you haven't ever been, this <clears throat> sounds hokey or like it doesn't sound okay, guys. You guys are, <laughs> you know, you got to sell us the national. All right. But like it really, you just get it after you've been there. Right. There's just something about it that's just right. ma- magic. Yeah. If you've been there, you know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't, you don't want to miss it. 
Take my word for it. You really don't. Yeah, you don't want to miss it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're going through through Saturday, but we've got we've got Troy Dunn coming. Uh, we have Dino Watt coming. We have Johnny T is going to be there. Mark Kohler is going to be there. Uh, Scott and Nancy Rowe are presenting. Umar and Yes Hawk are presenting. Uh, Zach and Samari Ullman are presenting. Uh, it's just Woody's going to be there. He's got. He is so excited for his training that the last time I started to talk to him about it, he started to like bounce up and down in his chair like a little kid. Like he couldn't <laughs> hold it in. And he's like, Jay, 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 guess what? Guess what? Guess what? And anyway, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I'm looking forward to all of it. Oh, so. and, and you know, you get to hang out with me and Matt too. Of we'll course. Be there. Well, I mean, I don't know how much hanging out we'll be doing versus, you know, running around <laughs> making sure that's that true. everything works. But, that's true. Yeah. I will ask this in, I will ask this now. There's a chance that you're going to catch me at a moment during the national conference well, where I will be in the middle of five different things and yeah. will potentially not have the uh, typical attention that I would like to give to you in that moment. Yeah. I, I apologize <laughs> Ahead of time. In, in other words, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry and I was tired. <laughs> I, yeah, let me let me apologize in advance for being hungry, tired, know, stressed, right? and like, you know, in the middle of the national conference. Yeah, so <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, I am so looking forward to seeing all of you there, and and I will just I'll give you this. Every single market leader that I'm aware of attends the national conference. Yep. So if you're looking to become a market leader or if you are a market leader or if you if you one day hope to be or think that you might could be, then you're in the right place. Come to the national. Yep. If you want to have success in Renatus or hope to have sex, success in Renatus or want to be around people that are having success in Renatus come to the national. If you want to come to a place filled with like-minded entrepreneurs who are committed to serving you at their highest and best, giving you of their very all come to the national conference. You will not regret it. Amen to that. What else we got? It's the national conference, man. We're like, let's see. Today is the sixteenth. Yeah. Which means if I'm we, doing got math like right, two weeks in a day, I think is what we're down to. Well, two is weeks. That right? Two weeks from right now, I guarantee we're going to be standing up in the Davis Conference Center, setting up for the national. Two weeks from right now. That's correct. And and we'll start the check in shortly after this time. Yeah, in two weeks. Two weeks from now, y'all's gonna be in town. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna make it a good old time. Yes, we will. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. Did I? T I didn't talk about some of the lanyards and all the stuff that we're doing there. I didn't talk about any of the wards. Do we're we? Giving should out. we? Do you want to? I will just tell you this, Bob Snyder. Bob Snyder has a problem, and I. I'm an enabler. <laughs> yeah. Bob's problem yeah, that's is a good way to put it. He loves, loves to give out awards. He does. And I love to enable. That. He loves to recognize <laughs> and I can't wait for the lanyards. So, you know, I mean, uh, yes, I guess that's all. That's all. All we'll say. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. Cool, all right. Cool lanyards. So, uh, uh, a couple of things, just, you know, be sensitive to other people. Realize, you know, we're all there to, to have a good time. Yep. Uh, so, so we asks, we, a, we asks, wow. I'm we, a little... we asks that you not bathe in perfume just lightly. Yes. Spritz it maybe. Yes. Yes. Or cologne. Try or... not to, you know, go easy on the cologne. Yeah. Yeah. Um, dress Hi, just hygiene. Dress appropriately. Dress and, so we know. we maintain a uh, a dress code of business casual is what I like to call it. Yep. Um, but we have a lot of people show up in suit and tie. That's very appropriate. We have some people come in in t shirt and jeans, and they're welcome as well. Yeah. Okay. So we're we we kind of um, 
it is the middle of winter still here in Utah, yep. which can mean it could be either 70 degrees outside or seven. So it could be anywhere in between. Yeah. Now, now we do keep the room a little cooler. Uh, so if you are sensitive to cold, dress warm. Yeah. It's going to be cooler in the we room. We figure that you can only take so many clothes off, so we better keep it colder because yes. you can always put more yes. on. And, you know, having <laughs> naked people running around. All right, all right, all right. Let's not paint that <laughs> visual. That's not. <laughs> That's not exactly what oh. we're going for. So Now, yeah, now, uh, yeah. so dress dress appropriately. Um, I the the Spartans, we are asking all Spartans to bring their medals with them. Oh, so that time we to can show take off. Take a Spartan picture. Look, if you've got a Spartan medal, I would bring wear, it. I would wear that thing the whole time. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the time. Let alone those things are solid. You'd be freaking swole. By the yes. end of that thing, yes, you would carrying you would, around man. a weight all day, <laughs> ten pound dumbbell around my neck. Oh man! All right, if you're a Spartan, bring your medal with you, please, yeah. because we're going to take a picture with the Spartans on the stage, all sporting their medals at the same time. It's going to be epic. I it's going it. to be awesome. Love it. So uh, uh, let's see. Another thing that we love to do is we love to take team pictures at the breaks. Oh, yeah. So we will call from from the back of the room. I'm going to call out, okay, we want team whatever to come up to the, to the front of the room, and then we'll have a second one on deck to take a picture right behind them. We will have a full-time photographer there, okay? We're actually going to have two. So if you want to take a picture of the team that's on stage with your phone – just get out of the way of the photographer. That's all I ask. That's all you got to do. She usually sits like four rows back. She'll be standing on a chair or a ladder to mm-hmm. get up high enough to get a good picture. So either stand to the side of her or behind her. Either way works, but that's where you need to stand because we have every time we have a team get up on stage and everybody's all excited to see their friend or their cohort or, you know, take this picture for me. And so you grab the phone and you walk down in front. Well, the problem is you're in front of the photographer. So now you're making everybody wait for you. Yeah. And yeah, anyway. Yep. So, and and Mr. Hiller, there's no way we're going to break that stage. The stage is awesome. We Did got Did he say that we can Yeah, he said we're going to get so many people on the stage that we're going to break it. We've we've maxed that stage out as far as people versus surface area. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. never we, we Never have, so much as creaked. What is that stage made out of? Like adamantium? Basically. Yeah. Basically. I think it's just got, the way it's structured, it, it can handle um, a lot. And yeah, it, it, a lot. Yeah, it's designed for this. So yeah. anyway, bring your Spartan medals. Bring any of your pins along with you. Bring anything that will is going to help you engage better. And one thing that we are going to do is we're going to have some of the swag from previous years that uh, that we didn't hand out there. So do you guys remember those thunder sticks we had <laughs> back in like 2018, I think? <laughs> I got a bunch of them still. I'm, don't I'm bringing rem- them. I don't remember. I'm bringing them. So if you want to get a pair of thunder sticks, you just come. We got them. No, what I'm after is those sweet Renatus hats. So Oh, we will have some of those. I actually have two of them already, but I want but I want a third. I want a third. Those will not be things that I just give out. You no, will, I know. You will I have, know. To you have to buy those. those yeah, but they're nice. There but. will be some uh some swag there that you could purchase as well, some shirts and different yep. things. Um but yeah, the thunder sticks are gonna be there. That's cool. Yeah. That is awesome. Uh okay. let's see, what else? Um come early, make sure that you're yeah, don't push time limits if you can avoid it. Uh, be back in the room on time because we get started on time and you don't want to miss something. Yeah. Um, if there is something that you need, it is better to go talk with one of our wonderful customer advocates that will be sitting right outside the door and go ask them for help. They will help you promptly, and they tend to be able to work quicker with people that are happy. So be happy with them. Realize they're there to help. They're yeah. They're advocating for you. Uh, Alvin wants the cool, cool pens. We will have pens there this year as well. Is he talking about the pencils that we've talked about on this oh, podcast I don't know. in the past? I don't know. If you know, you know, and if you don't, I'm sorry. Yeah. The pencils will be there. I, the very first slide of my 
presentation is my picture with that pencil. Oh, you serious? And my dad walked in. I don't think he recognized what it was. I, I think he was like, that's kind of, I think I, he didn't say anything, but I kind of nice. think he's like, that's a dumb picture. Like of all the pictures you could, you know, like right? why that one for the, cause it's like a selfie with this, with a pencil and we're not as pencil. So it looks probably pretty goofy for, Hey, if you know, you know, it's, it's, and if you don't come to the national, that's you'll right. Find out. That's right. Well, I don't even know if I'm going to say anything. It's just my picture, but I just, nice. you know, it's kind of like a <laughs> wink and a nod to everybody who listens to the podcast. Yeah, buddy. So. To our, our, our fellow Renatus Jamians. That's right. Our Jamians. Our Jamites. Jamites. Yes, the Jamites. Jamikins? <laughs> I, I don't know. What do we call? I don't know. <laughs> just uh, I Jammers. Jammers. The Renatus Jams. Jammers. Oh, we sound like a like a rock band or something. Or like a PJ party. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that sounds more like <laughs> like a Tupperware party. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, let's see. Any last thoughts real quick about considerations people need to make about being in the room? Um, we will provide water. There will be water stations there. There will, but if you're like – I mean – I don't even know if I need to say it, but you know, like people who have special, you're diabetic or you're whatever, and you got to keep certain snacks or things or just, you know, yep. put it in the purse or a bag or, or whatever, yeah, exactly. a briefcase, whatever. Exactly. Just, just take Bring care it with you. Take care of yourself and prepare. That's yes. all I'm saying. Yeah. So. And, and, uh, be sensitive to other people that need to do the same thing. Yep. Yep. And if you're like me and you have to pee 12 times a day, sit on the end. Yes. Do that. Yeah. Or just go between the I like, breaks I like, like an adult. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> that, but look, look, oh, I mean, man. you know, when your water consumption is, is that of mine. Outpaces your bladder <laughs> yeah, expulsion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got stories, oh. but that's for my other podcast. So. Oh, buddy. He does not have another podcast. Don't, don't go looking for it. If I should, if I should start another podcast, tell me. I oh, no. No, no, no. Please don't encourage this. I don't yes, even want to know. This. It's yes, going to be called, this. it's going to be called the left turn. <laughs> <laughs> also known as Matt's NASCAR. It'll All right. So uh, <laughs> let's see here. Any any other last minute I, items? I think that covers it, man. Um, I mean, you know. Yeah. We, yeah. We will have a buffet lunch available on Thursday and Saturday. So if you prefer will? to eat there, I it, didn't know it'll that. cost you a little bit of money. I don't know exactly how much. It'll be in one of the other rooms there. And the Davis Conference Center just provides this? Like, yep. You know, I mean, for, yep. co- for you got to pay, but. Yeah. Uh, cool. 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 Okay. Yeah. So That's if you'd awesome. prefer to eat right there on so site, you you'll be somewhere. able to. That's nice. As opposed to going out somewhere. You know, we usually do about, I don't know, half the people really like that. Other half yeah. the people are like, I'm going out. It's, it's fine. There. Yeah. There's um, a Chick-fil-A that is like right around the corner from the Davis Conference Center. So yeah, it's not far. There's, there's a lot of probably where you find me. And, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And there, oh, there's tons. Places. There's right. It's there. a primo spot. You got Neaters. Nice. You got the, what's that burger place? That's so good. Habit burger. Habit, yeah. Oh, habit. it's habit forming. So, <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> okay, drop it, Jay. So Jimmy John's. Yeah, right Jimmy there. John's. Jimmy John's is right there. Anyway, uh, just just take every precaution. We're going to be there for three days together. Be kind to, to people. Be patient with one another. Uh, we will have a selfie banner set up out in the lobby so you can take selfies in front of our nice big banner. Yeah, uh, that one's cool. always fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we will have uh I did I got another balloon sculpture. Yeah, you did. Do you guys remember do you guys I do. remember, I remember the last that. one we yeah, did? Yeah, that thing was amazing. Yeah, we got another balloon sculpture. That arch? Yeah. That big giant balloon yep. arch. I mean, I I figured thousands of balloons had to be a part. It was just nuts. It was it's, so it's cool. It's a lot. It's so cool. It's a lot. And yeah. it's going to be awesome. So we've got awesome. that coming That'll again. Be fun. Uh, and the Freedom Wagon is there. I would ask, this happens every single year. Everybody loves to climb on top of the Freedom Wagon. Mm-hmm. And I'm not really worried about the Freedom Wagon. I'm worried about the people. So please don't climb it. Yeah. I'm not going to stop you. I am I'm, I won't because you're an adult. I'm an adult. I shouldn't have to, you know, just please don't climb on it. Yeah. Please. Just, please. Please don't break your ankle. <laughs> or face or whatever. Yeah, or we had somebody try to climb up it and they totally broke one of the lights off. Uh, we had somebody damn. climb up it and they um 
they totally broke one of the door handles off. Yeah, that's a and just a FYI. Those door ha- the whole thing is made out of metal except for the door handles. Those things are yeah. like, what's up with that? I don't know. They're just I don't know. easy to break. They're probably the they easiest are. thing on the whole thing to break. And I'm like, that's yeah. the thing that you grabbed. A- and those doors are hard to open, so you got to yeah. wrench on it. And so just, just don't don't grab the door handles. Don't don't climb on it. Just don't climb on it. Yeah. That's all I got. Just take a picture in front of it. Yeah. Take a picture with it. That's great. Um, I think that's I think that's all I got really well, right now. That covers it for the national. Yeah. Now we are giving out a lot of awards. Yeah. A lot of awards. Yeah, I know. And if you think you're getting an award, you may want to leave room for it in your suitcase. Yeah. Because some of them are kind of big. Yeah, they are. I always wonder about that every year. How do people get them home? You know what? I've always looked at that. As somebody else's problem. <laughs> sure it is. But I mean, some some of these people get, you know, four or five awards because they're winning categories. You right. Know, like right. How much, you know, 90K in a month award or whatever. Like they're getting that. And then they get the this award and, and the, you know, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's a lot to try and figure out how to. Yeah, it is. Get home. It can be. It can be. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. So. Prepare ahead. But how cool is that, you know, whatever yeah, that's K a great month problem to award. Have, yeah. Right? Take it as mantle. Your, take it as your carry on. Yeah. That's I would what you can do. Your I personal would. item. I yes. Would be. This is my personal support trophy. My support trophy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's for my it's for my medical needs to be validated. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, yeah. I tell you what, I am seriously looking forward to getting back together with the Renatus community. I appreciate you guys very much. And, you know, Mr. Snyder, I forgot to congratulate you. This is number 70. Oh, is, Seven it, is zero. it really? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, this is our 70, 70th episode of the Renatus Jam. We've been going for a while. When did we start this? We started this in June of 2020. Right Wow, right after the pandemic happened, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. I guess this was the uh, child of the pandemic. I didn't even think about that. Thanks for bringing that one up. Dude, I swear, though. You shouldn't swear. I read that in a book once. Thou shalt not swear. <laughs> well, I didn't read it. So until I read that, I'm just Fake kidding. News. I, don't, I don't swear uh, often unless I'm in traffic. So, <laughs> so I'm just everybody love everybody. Remember we talked about this right at the beginning. <laughs> yes. That. It's is it swearing? Is it hand signals or is it swearing? I'm just oh, kidding. No. I don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, I've actually proudly never done that. So. Nice. I'm not going to start now. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Anyways, all right. We will let you wrap this up. All right. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. We will have one more Renatus Jam before the National Conference. Of course, the week of the National, we will not have one. But never, number 71 will come to you next week with the latest and greatest updates. Remember, the reason why Renatus rocks is because of the people that are associated with it. That includes you. Thanks, everybody. Renatus rocks. Renatus rocks.